This is a What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nate Dizzy coming at you with another Fortnite video. Today I want to talk about the new SCAR with the suppressor that they added to Fortnite. Now, this gun is very boring. I'm going to tell you what. Now, it's exactly what it says it is. It's a SCAR with the suppressor on it. Basically, it's slightly quieter. It's better at tap shooting. It's worse at spraying. But it's very, very similar. I think this was a very safe move. I think they did it to kind of throw us off the trail because they just took out the Tommy gun, which was a lot of people's go-to. I mean, it was meta 100%. If you didn't have a Tommy gun, you were at a severe disadvantage. So I get that they want to take it out. Hopefully they're reworking it and not fully getting rid of it because that will kind of upset me. Although it was a powerful gun, it wasn't a ridiculous gun. Like it was powerful, but you still had to know how to use it. You still had to know what you were doing. It required some degree of skill. The spray wasn't extremely tight it's, and it had a damage drop off at range. So hopefully they're gonna be bringing that back. Real quick, I wanna touch on the grappler cause it's just a good point. I was just swinging through the air. The grappler is a cool thing. But I do feel that they need to nerf that thing or they need to uh, they need to do something or just get it all the way out the game. They either need to reduce the amount of charges it comes. So it, currently when you pick up a fresh grappler it has 15 charges. You can grapple 15 times and that will last you most of the game unless you're playing extremely aggressive. If you're trying to be out, out here doing the, the streamer tactics where you're just jumping on people's head constantly trying to get those high kill games. You may need a second grappler, but you really don't need more than two unless you're just terrible with the thing. You're going to be demolishing folks with it. I think that uh, I'm not a huge fan of this, put it this way, because this grappler just undermines building even more than it was already undermined by all the changes to building. It was already undermined by the, the drum gun. Of course, now that the drum gun's out, it's a little bit fixed with, with regards to that, but then they bring the grappler right back in. So it's kind of like, what? What was the point? So yeah, that's what I feel about the grappler. Now you'll see I'm looking here at the difference in values as far as the scar uh, suppressed to the scar regular and it's not much of a difference it's a three point difference in the actual damage per shot that means that you'll have slightly less dps but this gun is more accurate when tap firing which is what you should really be doing anyways with a gun like that if you're close range i can see spraying it and the difference between the suppressed and the regular first off same fire rate so the main difference is that damage and at close range the spray is about the same now if you spray for a long period of time with the suppressed scar that spread that bloom opens up a lot so do not do that i do not advise that it's like they said it's made for tap firing so tap fire it in practice is basically a regular scar that's slightly quieter and slightly more accurate when tapping although if you're already good with the scar it's going to be the same thing pick it up same rate of fire uh you know slightly less damage on the suppressed version but it's slightly quieter so it's basically just a very safe move by epic that's pretty much it nothing really left to say uh let me know how you're feeling about the current situation in fortnite what do you think about all the new stuff what do you think about getaway mode i won't even talk about it because i hate it but let me know what you think i'm interested to know if i'm not the only one or if i am the only one like comment and subscribe if you like the content and want more i hope you're having a wonderful day hope you're doing good i love you guys see you next time nate dizzy out